Now we go to Doom. Quickening Doom. Oh, uh, we meet the priest again. I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm so disappointed by the priest. Because I feel like he's very tropey of a character. Like, he looks like an infernal priest ass infernal priest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these dudes. Okay, tell me if I'm off base, but these guys look like they could be a Cenobite in the Hellraiser, right? Like, the, the colors are a little off, but you change the pink tone here to, like, black and leave the pale as it is. These guys, and I'm not saying Hellraiser 1 or 2 Cenobites, I'm talking, like, but definitely Hellraiser 3, maybe like Hellraiser 4, kind of, you know, like they had worse designs in those ones than what this is. I think this is like acceptable as a Cenobite idea. Oh my god. You, you want to talk about people rip into Hellraiser 3 for bad Cenobites. You want to talk about bad Cenobites. The worst Cenobite for me is the two douchebag twin cops in, is it Bloodline? And their weird thing of like, their faces are mashed together in some weird swirly symbol. That has to be my least favorite Cenobite that I remember right now. <laughs> like, I, I could make a top 10 list of my least favorite Cenobites, but there are some, like, fun, very of the era designs in, like, 3 that I can, like, go, oh, okay, that's okay. Three gets a lot of shit for being like too crazy, but I feel like it really lent into a Nightmare on Elm Street level of like lunacy monster madness, which is fine because I like those movies too, and Friday the 13th was off the rails by that point as well. But like, uh, only this tree gives us a mushroom for some reason. But like, I think Hellraiser sucks really bad in the later movies where they're trying to take themselves seriously and come across as like... I don't even know, like... They got the same vibes as like a post-grunge album. Like it's a very aughts feeling from then on out. And one of them feels literally like it could have been a Silent Hill movie at one point. Which one am I thinking of? The one with the detective. But not the other one with the detective. Like, several times there are Hellraiser movies with Doug Bradley as Pinhead or the Hell Priest, um, where he's just fucking with a detective for lols. And then there's another one where it's not Doug Bradley, and he, he's still fucking with cops for lols. And I'm like, who? Now, oh, it's this, this guy is again. ironic. I never expected you to come to the underworld of your own free will. Ironic? I don't care what you call it. Stay out of my way. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. I'm not going to let a perfectly good chance or revenge slip through my fingers. Okay. If you say so, buddy. Time. To settle scores. Like, so we're in the underworld and he's here already, which means this demon was murdered by Rachel, I assume. And we're just annihilating him, which is this game's way of saying, you killed him again and this time he's dead, dead, dead. Like he's gone to super hell or some shit. He's got this spammy thing going on now. Um... Jeez, man. <laughs> I'll just giant swing this guy while I'm waiting. Yeah, so the Xbox 360 achievements, I remember, say, 
killed fiend, etc, 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 and then it says annihilated fiend after you fight them a second time in the underworld. So I'm assuming this means he's dead. He's chilling in the underworld. He's like, ha ha ha, I have my chance for revenge. And Ryu's like, what the hell are you talking about? You're dead, you, you huge loser. <laughs> I didn't even kill you. Some other randomer killed you. Well, Rachel, so it's not a randomer, but you know what I mean? Damn. These guys are annoying. These little, the little crystal goblin guys that are following me around and shooting balls at me. They're kind of annoying. I'm not even aiming at this guy and I'm beating him. What a loser. I'm trying to be cool guys, look at my Satan horns and cloven hooves. You're not even the biggest threat in this <laughs> whole thing. How are you not dead? Jeez, just... Oh! These guys are stopping me from just ending this fight right now. Just, just hit him, I just need these one more light. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, I suck. Oh, I'm now super dead. Go to the green. <laughs> There's a sick rave in the green orb. Yo, this is my favorite behemoth song. <sighs> that beard has like one animation <laughs> frame for the like it's being treated as one whole strand, so he moves his face and it off the whole beard goes <laughs> like a wave. That's not how beards work. <laughs> You need a serious amount of conditioner for your beard to be that luxuriant. I would know. Jeez. You know, if you want to, like, waste your money on, like, cosmetics as a man, beard lotions, beard oils, beard brushes, and beard conditioners are expensive as fuck, and they do work. But you know what else works? Just not bothering. <laughs> like, and just giving up on the idea. Because I grow a wiry ass beard, so I need that stuff. Like, oh man. Why am I talking about beards? Ah! Punch Demon. So comment below your least favorite Hellraiser movie. And why it's the one where the guy is literally cheating all of the time and he's being punished because apparently well man like if you've not watched Hellraiser it is a fucking confusing mess past like three and that's being charitable like one and two was enough three was a funny additional hell world was like wow this is just like I feel like I've seen this in a SIVA music video, <laughs> uh, along with the one where it's basically Silent Hill and it gets really conceptual and like almost like Twin Peaks level of weirdness, where it's like a detective and he sees these Cenobites chilling and they represent things in his life and the real monster is him and then like it just gets real boring at one point. I can't even remember the name, it's not Deader. Deader's pretty bad, but it's not the worst. Although it, like, because it does some stuff where it gaslights you into thinking, what's real? But like, um, there's literally one where he's just trying to have sex with every girl. And then like, it turns out he was dead the whole time. And he died in a car crash or something and the, uh, the girl survived that he was cheating on and she's like ha 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 and she made a deal with him or something oh it was the last one with the lady who was the original girl in the first two, two 
two movies and it was like what an awful way to let that actress out of what would otherwise have been a great movie uh, set of movies she actually involved herself with you know like we'll bring back the lead girl oh that'll be cool like they did with like the Freddy movies they brought back the lead girl and Dream Warriors wasn't that bad it's kind of whack <laughs> but like it's, it's not the worst like, I, I'm never going to get over the Warlock sequence in Dream Warriors where the guy's like, Oh, my secret power in the Dream World is to be a huge fucking nerd! <laughs> and it's just like, then he gets pwned by a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad to laugh at. Because he's disabled in the real life. And then, like, they're like, oh, your superpower is you can walk in your dreams. And then he's like, no, my superpower is I grow one of the worst capes in the world and I just, like, shoot green force lightning <laughs> out of my hands but still get wrecked by, like, um... <laughs> Jeez, that jump pounce. It's like Charlie's... It's like Nash's Tragedy Assault. <laughs> Man, when I get decent internet, I'm gonna play at least one Street Fighter V again and then cry. Because I don't really like the way that game turned out. <laughs> Look, I can play as Nash, but it's all. Oh, I'm gonna play as. Yeah, the new girl that's not a new girl that's from rival schools because she's cute and has a motorbike. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. <laughs> but like, you know, half of the roster for that were new characters for Street Fighter, I was like, look at all these generic blonde characters. And then I go back and I'm like, I don't even remember Lucia, or Falk, or Ed. <laughs> and I'm just like, seriously, Street Fighter V just went, yo, we like blonde characters that, unfortunately, don't grab my attention. And then they're like, the final character is a generico blonde guy <laughs> with a moveset that looks kind of cool, but like, I guess, you know? You're like, oh no. It's all blonde. Simply blonde. Simply red? No. Ah, we're at this part. The fish! This is the boss fight, just these fuckers again. The fish fucks. Please. Fish, please. Can we not be friends? Sword time? Sword time. So, we're not going to talk about the fact that the base game, you could swim in the lava, like, not just walk in it, you could swim under the lava and it would deplete your health like a bitch. Or the jellyfish that could just one-shot you if you fuck up. Fuck the jellyfish, man. Here in the underworld, our power is absolute. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it feels like whenever any any time someone says our power is, you think, oh, there's only a few things they're gonna say, <laughs> and it's not gonna be over nine thousand. Although that would have been hilarious. Do you want to know how they kill? <laughs> Uh, Pinhead in, like, canon, uh, and it's in the fourth movie, so they make loads of movies after this, this is what I was talking about, right, of confusing bullshit. Um, so in the fourth movie they kill him with a space laser, 
that takes several generations of like guys who invented the Hellraiser box to start with. The portal to Hell box for some reason. They build the space laser. Oh, you did already? No, oh, okay. You're almost dead. So this guy's got some more moves too, and he is a little more punishing with his punch combos, and he's got a lot of like hit stun on them, and he can knock you out and guard break. I'm burning again! How ironic for the second time! his name again. <laughs> so we get his heart. We need this. Now before you used to have to swim under for this thing and there were fucking jellyfish that would one shot you and then you'd have to restart the boss. Because vanilla! <laughs> vanilla was fucking brutal! Yeah that, that's gone now, thank Christ. Thanks Satan. Thanks Zidonius. Here's a creepy forest. Fish. <laughs> I feel like the game loves this these fish a lot more than I do. But anyway, yeah, confusing timeline. So you think, okay, there's like nine Hellraiser films, right? So like film number four shows the end of the Cenobite, the, the Hell Priest's life. So what did he do between those times? Because obviously he can be summoned in between a one of them. And you know, that's like 2187 stupid far distant future, this is when he dies kind of thing with loads of time for sequels. Don't worry, they can still run it into the ground if they want to. And boy do they, because apparently, you know, the Hell Priest has nothing better to do for most of his lifetime than just gaslighting and trolling random individuals for really petty things. Like, oh, you cheated on your wife. Here's half of a, an hour and a half of gaslighting and abusive violence, and you're already in hell the whole time. Ha ha ha. I'm going to create a website. But was I even there to begin with, or was it just this alcoholic absentee deadbeat dad from Wisconsin? I think he's from Wisconsin. It might be Winnipeg or some shit like that. I don't know, the American Midwest is confusing to Europeans. <laughs> Nothing but corn. <laughs> and um... Then like, you know, just trolling corrupt detectives is 90% of what he does with his lifespan, which apparently is like, he goes from like, the guy from hell who's the eternal punishment to guy that trolls cops for lols. I'm not kidding, and it's just the weirdest, the absolute weirdest way to like, portray Pinhead. At one point he's just around and a cult builds around him in that are humans who are like, yeah, Pinhead's cool. Um, like in Deader or something, and then he just murders them all because he's like, you guys are whack. <laughs> and then he gets blown up as well or something. What a terrible way to finish off Doug Bradley's career as like the Hell Priest. Like, he really didn't do that guy justice, and he did a great job as Pinhead. Like, he put it, he put like work in, and he had a booming voice, man. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Oh, you really? shall kneel before the true might of the greater fiends! I just killed your friend. Look at the unique enemy type. Look at these unique enemy types. They're kind of a pain. Because they don't stagger. <laughs> and they've got, like, huge priority. <laughs> and they keep coming from weird angles off screen. Damn it! They were much easier my first playthrough. I felt like I annihilated them, but I can't remember how I did it. I 
No, they're just getting hits in on me because I'm just like, how, oh, how to deal with centaurs. Oh, I'm being shoved in the corner. Yeah, enough of this, bye. Oh, are they out of range? How can a fire spell have range? It doesn't suffer from drop off. This might be tougher than I think. Are these are these centers wearing leather pants? Now that must be it, like, look! Are they wearing leather pants? That must be so hard to make for a centaur. Where do they go to find that? That must be so hard. Jeez, I want to know their tailor. Okay, I've got to fight you with almost no healing items. Damn. Oh, because I stole your... <laughs> I stole his scythe, so now he's got a lame sand scythe. <laughs> Good job, so your health bar's down. LOL! Ow. Don't go or stomp me. I said, don't go or stomp me. Dead. Why are you doing that again, where you kind of slurp it down? Can't you die, like, with better grace? <laughs> All of his internal organs noisily shut down. I don't want to hear that shit. Just die, man. <laughs> All of the other guys are just like, Oh, I died. I'll be back. Oh. And he's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like, jeez, man. <laughs> yeah, having trouble there, buddy.